Do you own a Harbor Freight sandblast cabinet and have you struggled to get that thing to work right? Well, let me show you how I made my own metering valve for under $100 and made it work like you'd want it to. Have you ever bought one of these blast cabinets from Harbor Freight? I tell you, bang for the buck compared to commercial or professional units that are out there, there is a lot of value. This is more of what you would currently get, and there is a ton of assembly required. And I've never watched the videos on it, but I've heard they are a, a bear to get everything assembled correctly. I think this is an older version because it's the cabinet, so probably they figured out if they made it in smaller pieces, they could fit it in a smaller box. This one's the one that was converted to vapor honing. So we're not going to talk about that. We're going to talk about this one, which is your traditional blast cabinet. And I've done some things to it, but I did some things to it because it is super frustrating. The gun that comes with it uses a siphon. It's got a siphon tube that goes down into the media. It's hard to see in there. It connects to a hose that goes up to the gun and then air goes to the gun and I'm dripping media all over the floor. And it's basically siphoning, you know, kind of like the Ventruli effect to get the media up and out of the tube and then the other tube allows air to go down to your let your media, but it, it can clog, it can not feed consistently and it can be the most frustrating thing in the world. So I tell you what I got on YouTube. And maybe you've already done it, maybe you haven't. I didn't know until I had the problem and finally got frustrated enough to discover that you can do something like this called a metering valve and it changes the performance of this tremendously. One guy said it really wakes it up and it does. It uh, It's just consistent. And so... I've got a video here of me putting this thing together and I'll put labels on it and what it is, what parts are and, and where I got it. I'm into this $87 because I bought it at basically a tractor supply type store called Runnings on my way home and they're not known for their, their bargains, but it was on the way home and I wanted to get this done today. So time, I was willing to pay a little bit more for the time, but let me show you how to do this.
Okay. What you just watched me so crudely make is a metering valve for my sandblast cabinet. And I've probably talked to you about what I was doing and why I was doing it. And <laughs> I goofed. Not goofed, but I didn't have a metal cutting hole saw, so I really had to get creative in doing that hole through the door. But I ground down the edges of that flange so it'll fit up between the chute. And uh, I'm ready to go install this, I think. Okay, so that's the rim I'm going to hit right now. I need to drill a hole through this cabinet for the hose and get a grommet on it. Uh, I don't have a big enough drill or a small enough hole saw to make that hole. So I'm just basically cheating it for the time being like this. So I'm not sealed up. So some stuff is bouncing out. The lighting in these sucks. That's going to be my, my next upgrade. And I don't think you're going to be able to hear me or see me while I blast this, but maybe you can. Maybe I'll take my phone out of this holder and see what I can do. So that was just real quick demo on how it works. Now it's hard to tell because I didn't record the frustrating moments where I'm standing here banging the gun, banging on the, the siphon tube, shaking the cabinet, trying to get media to flow again with no rhyme or reason or explanation why it wasn't working in the first place. So both of these cabinets... I bought on Marketplace. Uh, I'm a sucker for a deal. So this one I've had three or four years. Never really used it much because of the frustration. Uh, I upgraded my tank with another tank I got a deal on. Uh, I thought I had a moisture problem. And they do create a lot of moisture. And I do have to switch over because I put a, a water separator on my other smaller tank. And I need to get a similar setup, a better setup in here, so I can adjust the pressure, so I can minimize water to the blast cabinet, uh, lighting, like I mentioned. And I got one of these guys. Okay, forgive my mess. I'm a three-wheeler junkie who's always trying to restore stuff. Uh, but I got one of these guys. It's basically a vortex. You mount this on a five-gallon bucket that has a lid. And uh, use this gasket. Connect this to a hose to your your cabinet. This goes to your vacuum. So it pulls the air and dust and, and if there's any media in it, and it spins it out and it falls down into the bucket and cleaner air goes to your vacuum to help preserve your filter life. I'm basically doing the same thing here. That's a bigger one I got years ago for woodworking. And it's great for sawdust and things like that. But... Uh, I bought both of these cabinets on Marketplace, so I'm only into, I think that one, maybe 150 maybe maybe 100 bucks. Didn't have to assemble it, just had to go pick it up and bring it home, it came with media. That is media I bought with the machine, I'm still using it. I've since bought crushed walnut shell and glass bead and whatnot. This one I bought as is, 
I've harvested the gloves off it for a different project, but uh, this one's for vapor honing, and I gotta get set up in here better. This is not the ideal working environment, but I just wanted to show you how you can improve your blast cabinet, because the whole reason, like I said, the whole reason I hadn't been using it is because it was so frustrating, and just the way this performs now is a breath of fresh air. Well, dusty air, but it's because it's working so try it out uh, I'm sure you can get those bits and pieces or you can change it up a little bit what I found on the uh, on the interwebs on YouTube there's a number of different styles of this that you can that you can do if I had more time I could have maybe uh, uh, bought an actual metering valve but one video I watched said there's cons to those so this works great, and it was just I kind of built it in the aisle at the tractor supply store, and then I built it for real at home. That's it. Thanks for watching. If you don't normally watch my videos uh, and you like three-wheelers or Hondas or restoring old Hondas or whatever, feel free to like and subscribe. Uh, a lot of great content and more to come with this line of stuff. Thanks for watching.